Climate change is an issue that looks quite parallel to the creation and evolution issue. Uh, the science seems to be very lopsided in one direction, that climate change is taking place and it seems to be pretty lopsided more and more all the time that it's human caused, it's anthropogenic. Um, in that sense, it parallels the creationism and evolution controversy with the science community being pretty uniform. There's a list of topics that the religious right is unhappy about. Uh, evolution, origin of life, stem cells, and climate change. And we're finding that these issues are, are tending to be bundled together in some of the legislation that's being submitted. Thank goodness we have allies among the science uh, uh, associations, the education associations. Um, but interestingly enough, when they get calls for this issue, uh, somebody calls and says, what do we do? There's legislation been introduced in our state. They say, go see NCSC. Oh, the name of the organization is an artifact of history. When the founders of the organization put it together back in the early 80s, it was because of the creationism and evolution controversy. And there was legislation sprouting up all over the country. And they came together. And what do we call it? Well, let's call it the National Center for Science Education because if we just call it the Center for Combating Creationism or something, that's going to limit us. They, they really thought that once we take care of this creationism issue, we'll be able to go on and scientists work and teachers working together will really strengthen science education. And of course, you know, here 25 plus years later, we're still up to our nostrils in creationism, but oh well. It comes from members. We're a membership organization, and we have to get uh, private foundation grants. And we answer all the phone calls. We answer all the emails. Uh, we do everything we can to give people what they need. Sometimes we have to give someone a little less attention than someone else, depending on staff resources and, and what other uh, flaming pans there are on the fire. Flare-ups is the in-house term that we use for controversies, generally at the local or the state level. And one flare-up that we've been working on recently and monitoring is in Livingston Parish, Louisiana. The intent, as everybody knows in Louisiana, is to allow in the teaching of creationism. But of course, the fact that the school board in Livingston Parish is talking openly about teaching creationism means that teachers right away get this neon sign flashing saying, don't teach evolution this year, this is controversial. And of course, this is relevant to the climate change issue too, because whenever you make anything controversial, teachers tend to back off and teachers tend to not teach it. So whatever environmental education uh, concentration about climate change that might have been going on, as soon as you get some letters to the editor in the local newspaper about, oh, climate change is a fraud, there's no global warming, etc., teachers are very likely to back off and say, okay, well, perhaps we'll just skip that unit this year. When I read Gladwell's article in The New Yorker this last uh, week, it, it, it really resonated because it it's the creation and evolution conflict. Um, we do use social networking, but the most effective groups that we have are the groups that have actually worked together for a long time, where people know each other and trust each other, and they have those personal bonds. And that's one of the things that Gladwell was talking about. For the Kitzmiller versus Dover intelligent design trial, we put together a team of people who have worked together for years and years. We know each other's position, um, we all like each other and respect each other, and uh, there's, there's this real sense of camaraderie. And that is where we've really been able to have successes in places like Texas, in places like Kansas, where we've had these long-running uh, controversies, and where we've built up a network um, of people who know each other, trust each other, and have those personal bonds. Mm -hmm.